All right, this is part two of section 11 here, and we're talking about uh, Kylius here. We're defending Kylius, and we're talking about his ability to escape sort of suspicion and, 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 and how important it is to keep oneself clean and all of this kind of thing, no matter whether you know, he's, he's a, a, in, in the forum being trained uh, in, as a citizen, as a, as a speaker in the forum, or he's in the, the military camp. And Cicero continues on. Now we got qua here to begin a sentence, and in English we can't do that with a wh word, with a you know in in what age or in which age. So so this is what's called a a, a, a conjoining relative or or a, a relative conjunction. And what we would do is basically say and in this age. So we're going to turn this into um, basically just a regular uh, uh, demonstrative pronoun here, maybe. So and in this age. Unless, now this qui ipse, now we're pretty much not going to translate the ipse here, but after si, nisi, num, and ne, it's really ali qui, right? After si, nisi, num, and ne, ali takes a holiday. So this is not who, but someone or anyone. So in this age, and in this age, unless someone, now, the other problem here is we're missing a verb, aren't we? We don't have a verb for a very long time. So we're going to take defenderet. So, and in this age, unless someone might defend himself with gravitas, with his own importance and castimonia and his purity, and then we get et cum tum etiam here. So... And not only with the training he received at home, his domestic discipline, but also with a, a, a naturali quo dom bono. Now, dom certain here, right? So with a certain natural good, a certain natural goodness. So in that time of life, unless a person might defend himself with his own gravitas and castimonia, and not only with the training you received at home, but, but also with a certain natural goodness. And then quoque moto here, however much he had been protected, guarded by his own people. Well, nevertheless, he could not, he was not able to escape infamia here, scandal. And Weram here makes it specific, like kind of real scandal, true scandal. Like if he really did something wrong, not just gossip, but, but actual scandal here. Well, nevertheless, he could not escape true scandal. But he who, right, a, a man who, he who had Prystitiset uh, had shown Prima illa initia, the, those first beginnings of age, and then integra aque in wielati here, we probably have to take kind of like as integra and in wielata. So as untouched and undefiled, undefiled, un, unviolated. So, but, but he who, the man who had shown those first beginnings of his lifetime untouched and undefiled. Well, about his fama and his pudicitia, about his reputation and his sense of morality, no one talked. So no one talked about his sense of his, his reputation, his sense of morality. When this man, now, se corrobora was set here, has a, has a pretty specific meaning here when when he had become mature now, or when he had already become mature and set and was a man among men. So if you keep your nose clean, no one can say anything bad about you. And if you don't, uh, boy, you just, you can't escape, um, you know, real infamy here, but you got to keep your nose clean. 